So now let's look at the advantages and disadvantages of an open plan office. It is easy for managers and supervisors to communicate with all members of the team, right? Managers, supervisors, and workers have access to all equipment because these equipment are usually placed in central location, which everyone can gain access to. Next, an open plan office can be rearranged relatively inexpensive. Emphasis on relatively. Now, you can imagine the cost that would, would be attached to remodeling and a cellular office where you have to take down permanent walls, right? Now, in an open plan office, the cubicles can be removed easily because they are semi-permanent, all right? Another advantage is that managers and supervisors can oversee and have access to all members of the te team relatively easy, all right? Some disadvantages associated with an open plan office, there is little or no privacy, right? Which makes it difficult for employees to concentrate on given tasks, all right? Personal properties left on desks are unsecured, which means that everybody has access to pretty much everybody's personal belongings. Workers have little or no control over things such as lighting, temperature, or the arrangement of equipment, all right? Supervisors can become too involved, which can affect productivity. Now, studies have shown that workers function better when they are given a job to execute with the freedom of executing it in their own time and style. And lastly, it fosters gossiping. Yes, wherever there are two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten persons, it lends itself to persons gossiping. All right, thanks for joining. I hope you learned something.